Hi, this is Keith Danwer with Van Tech Consulting. Today we're going to talk really briefly, try to keep it brief, on Ethernet testing standards. So the first standard that we use, um, or that is in use today, is, and I'll use the term standard rather loosely, it's actually a request for comment. It's a 2544. It was developed by the IETF, or the Internet Engineering Task Force. And this was designed to test throughput on equipment, such as hubs, network interfaces, uh, you know, switches, etc. A um, couple of real important quotes from the RFC. This memo provides information for the internet community. It does not specify an internet standard of any kind. So that's a direct quote. Quote, vendors often engage in specmanship in an attempt to give their products better position in the marketplace. This involves smoke and mirrors to confuse the potential users of the products. So what this test is designed for is um, to give everybody the same uh, level the playing field so everybody's testing against the same exact parameters quote this document discusses and defines a number of tests that may be used to describe the performance and characteristics of a network interconnecting device so this test was not designed to go out and test networks it's designed to test network interconnecting device hubs switches um, you know network interface cards etc it was published in 1999 so you know a little long in the tooth at 16 years old um, you know if you think back 16 years where we were with Ethernet back then and where we are today huge difference does this still have a place in today's testing yes it does um, is it what we need to test our Ethernet networks with no it's not so it was recognized that there was a gap that the RFC didn't fulfill all the testing requirements so the International Telephony Union developed the um, ITU-T Y.1564 uh, SAM so this is the Ethernet Service Activation Testing Methodology so quote from the ITU this recommendation defines a test methodology that can be used to assess the proper configuration and performance of an Ethernet network to deliver Ethernet based services. All right, this out of service test methodology was created to, uh, so service providers have a standard way of measuring the performance of Ethernet based services. So, this test is specifically designed to test the network and the performance of Ethernet based services. All right, the 1564, we use it to test activation of Ethernet based services. Again, this is a quote from the standard. It is not intended to test the performance of other protocols, such as LACP, so Link Aggregation Control Protocol, IP, Layer 3, it's not designed for that, TCP, UDP, Layer 4 on the OSI, it's not designed for those either. It was uh, fully adopted as an ITU standard in March of 2011. Within the 1564, to be completely thorough, there are two phases of testing, the service configuration test and the service performance test. So the differences between the two, um, one is testing interfaces, one's testing networks and services. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty uh, clear. The RFC 2544 has four subtests. It does throughput, so this is testing the maximum rate um, that traffic's traversing a network interface without dropping any frames. It does back to back or burstability. So basically, this test measures how long we can burst frames at maximum throughput. So, if we had a one gig pipe, we could put in a gigabit of worth of traffic at the minimum interframe gap. So, put these in at the, uh, as close together as possible and see how long we can go with this maximum rate before we'll start to lose any frames. Frame loss. So this is just looking at the percentage of frames that would have been forwarded to uh, by a network device under a steady or constant load and they weren't forwarded. Okay, and this is due to your basic lack of resources, the interface can't handle it, etc. Alright. Latency. So latency, everybody knows what latency is. It's a round trip uh, measurement for the uh, frame. The problem with this, um, when we talk about latency within the 2544, is they do some uh, interesting measurements and in how they measure it. Okay, and we're going to get into that in a second. So, from an interface benchmarking perspective, 
it's ideal. If you have a core switch router or a switch, um, you know, edge, backbone, uh, core switch, whatever, if you suspect there's a problem with an interface, then by all means, I recommend the RFC 2544 to see if there is an absolute problem within that network interface. From a service turn-up perspective, providing carrier Ethernet to cell sites, to your customers, uh, you know, between buildings, etc., it has serious limitations. The 2544 limitations are: it was designed to test interfaces and not networks. It tests a single frame size. So what it does is it will go through the seven standard uh, Ethernet frame sizes, so you know 64, 128, 256, etc., up to 1500. It's going to test these and do those four tests at a single frame size. So when it's doing its throughput testing, it tests however many iterations of the throughput test you're going to run, you know, if it's 1 or 20, it's going to do those 20 tests let's say for example we do 20 iterations of throughput it's going to run 20 tests at 64 then it's going to run 20 tests at 128 then it's going to run 20 iterations at the 256 so it doesn't do a network test it's it's just testing that interface it looks at a single frame in two minutes for latency so what this does is this puts maximum frames or um, fills the pipe with traffic and somewhere within a two minute span it will take a frame out of there and say it was on time or it is latent. So the problem with this is that if you're testing a 10 gig circuit, there's an awful lot of traffic traversing that network in two minutes and the only indication you have of a latency problem is a single frame. So not very robust. It can't test multiple streams. So within your pipe, your, your gigabit Ethernet pipe or, or subrated pipe, it's not testing multiple streams. So it's not testing your video, your voice, your data, um, your VLANs, whatever, in that same pipe simultaneously. It's not doing that. It does not measure packet delay variation. So it doesn't, it's not looking at the inner frame gap. It's not saying, is my inner frame gap spreading too far? Is it too close together? This is jitter. Okay, and if these get too close together or too far apart, basically you're going to start getting errors. Again, testing is done sequentially, so right through the seven standard frame sizes. You know, you can modify these frame sizes, but it still tests them sequentially. So latency could be skewed. Um, yeah, you know, it's just not very robust in doing it that way. So the ITU, you know, recognizing these weaknesses with the 2544 for network. Uh, testing. The ITU, when they developed the 1564, they designed this around three following objectives to serve as a network service level agreement validation tool. So this is to go out and, and look at your SLAs, identify what you're promising your customer and verifying that your network is going to be able to meet those. Okay, So it's going to help you guarantee your performance settings in a controlled test time. Um, it's to ensure that all services carried by the network meet their SLA objectives at the maximum committed rate. So if you're offering your customer a sub rate of 400 megabits on a gigabit pipe, are you meeting the 400 megabits? Will you be able to carry the voice video data? Um, you know, will your UDP traffic, so your video and your VoIP, get there on time uh, with minimum delay so that we're not getting, uh, you know, blocking, tiling, freezing on our video and we're not getting, um, you know, echo and drop conversation on our VoIP. Um, the third one is to perform medium and long uh, term service testing. So you can set this as short as 10 minutes. It's very effective. Uh, and you can go for days on this. You can go for weeks. Um, you know, depending on the manufacturer and how they've set up their test, um, you might be able to go up to 30 days. So if you have that chronic issue and the customer says, you know, um, you know, you have, uh, you know, they're having issues, you may want to run this for, you know, from during a maintenance window for six or eight or ten hours, okay? Um, run it for two weeks before you, pro, you know, before you hand the service over to the customer. Whatever we want, we can do. It has the capabilities, okay? This ensures our network elements, everything in there, you know, as our, as our net, as our Ethernet's traversing the, the switches, um, 
that it can carry all these services under stress. So the 1564 does two tests. It does a service configuration and a service performance. So the first thing we need to do is build our test configuration. So this is where we're going to say how big our pipe is, you know, what our wire speed is, um, 100 meg, gig, uh, 10 gig, 100 gig, etc. Um, what our sub rate is if we're going to be utilizing, um, you know, traffic shaping, um, how many VLANs, what our services are going to be, etc. Okay we start the test it runs through what's called the service configuration or the ramp test okay and that ramp test is going to verify that the services are configured correctly if the service uh, is not configured correctly we it will fail that portion we got to go back look at it restart the test once that's done and that passes we're going to go to a service performance test this is where we're going to test all of our CIR, our committed information rate, excess information rate, overshoot, burst, um, our, our uh, committed burst size, our uh, excess burst size, so on and so forth. If we fail again, then we go back, we confirm and troubleshoot our services, we retest this, and once it has passed, it's ready for service delivery and it will. Um, meet your customer service level agreements and, and what you've promised to the customer. So this is a very compressed um, uh, presentation talking about the, uh, the um, Ethernet testing. If you'd like more information feel free to give us a call. You can um, drop us an email, leave us a comment, um, whatever you wish and we'll be glad to help. We do offer um, on-site Ethernet training and uh, working with all manufacturers and, and various meters. So feel free, give us a holler. If you have any further questions, leave us a comment. Drop us a line at info at vantechconsulting.net. Uh, look forward to hearing from you. I hope everybody has a great and safe day, and we will see you again soon. Ciao.